What's your advice? Shall they really you help us? There's plastic everywhere. It's in the whales, it's in the seabirds. It's in the rain, it's in the rain. And for the planet, why do they keep making it? Really need to do something about it. I want you to join the challenge. Welcome to the Plastic Swear Jar Challenge. Use a piece of single-use plastic and pay a dollar into a plastic swear jar. That's the idea behind the Plastic Swear Jar Challenge hosted by the Changing Tides Foundation. So how does this work? Well, we're happy to be joined by Becky Mendoza, Executive Director and Co-Founder of the Changing Tides Foundation. So Becky, what exactly is the Plastic Swear Jar Challenge? How does this work? Well, thank you so much for having me. The Plastic Swear Jar Challenge is an annual challenge that we um, started here at Changing Tides Foundation. And it's basically launches every Earth Day. And for one week, you track your single-use plastic waste. And every time you use or purchase an item of single-use plastic, you owe a dollar to the swear jar. And at the end of the week, we uh, encourage people to either donate their swears to our Changing Tides Foundation educational initiatives or you can actually purchase uh, reusables with that money and uh, be better in your day-to-day -day life. Okay, so let's define what exactly is a single-use plastic item because I had my lunch and Tupperware today. That doesn't mean I have to put a dollar into the jar, do I? Well, no, if you're reusing it, it doesn't count as single-use for the purposes of our challenge, but it really, uh, there's the kind of usual suspects, which are, you know, cutlery, uh, plastic water bottles, plastic bags, packaging, um, and things like that are usually the most typical swears. Uh, I try to avoid the grocery store specifically uh, during Earth Week because uh, I just will go completely broke. And, and you would if you don't pay attention because for example, today I, I was rushed, I was late, I had to go through a drive-through and, and I got a plastic bag. I guess I could have been conscious and said, look, just give me the burger and, and, and my drink. I don't need the bag to hold it in. Is it things like yeah, that asking people to do, be creative? Yeah, exactly. So it's meant to draw attention and, and to really help us with our personal awareness. Um, during this challenge, it's really crazy because you you just pay a lot more attention, right? Because all of a sudden your you know your three dollar kombucha turns into a four dollar you know a four dollar kombucha, yeah. or your twelve dollar takeaway turns into like a sixteen dollar takeaway if there's a bunch of plastic in it. So um, it's really interesting. I think a lot of people have had a lot of breakthroughs uh, during this week and, and have made some changes because of it. Yeah, and years past when you guys have done this, what has been the single largest donation you've received by somebody who really had an eye-opening experience about how much plastic they were using? Yeah, we've had plenty of over $100. Um, we have a few companies that run the Plastic Swear Jar Challenge internally, so they tend to uh, make bigger donations and donation match from their employees as well. So, yeah, I mean, I think the typical person uh, would probably guesstimate that they use maybe 30 pieces of plastic a week, but uh, really when they start to look, if they weren't paying attention uh, and they weren't trying to run the challenge, they'd realize it's probably closer to 80 or 90. Okay, we're about out of time, Becky, but you, you have a giveaway in this. I, I wanna know how do people get involved and, and what's that giveaway? Thank you so much. So yeah, we you can register at changingtidesfoundation.org and we're giving away a GoPro camera and we're giving away a pair of Ponto sustainable shoes and a Changing Tides Foundation cut back on plastic water bottle and t-shirt. And all you have to do is register at changingtidesfoundation.org and then post a picture to Instagram of your challenge throughout the week and that will automatically enter you to win. Um, so you have to hashtag plastic swear jar and tag Changing Tides Foundation on Instagram. Such a great idea. Becky Mendoza from the Changing Tides Foundation. Thank you so much. Do appreciate it. Happy Earth Day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, I, I would already be down a couple bucks.